Look at all the people. Look at all the cars. This is the busiest part of our community because most of the stores are here. People come here to shop, to buy the things they need. This is a big department store. What do they sell here? Let's look in the windows and find out. The department store sells clothes. You can buy them in the clothing department. There is furniture on sale here too, in the furniture department. Which department can you buy shoes in? The shoe department, of course. This is the Johnson family. They've come downtown to do some shopping. First, they'll shop in the department store. Which department are they going to? The shoe department. Doesn't this look like a wonderful place to shop? Janie needs new shoes. And so does Bill. The clerk points out the shoe display table to help the Johnsons decide what style of shoe they want. The clerk is sure he will be able to find shoes they will like because the store has so many different kinds of shoes. Shoes for every member of the family. Of course, the store has many more shoes and most of them come in various sizes. Did you ever see so many boxes of shoes? Where do they all come from? Well, some of these shoes came from this shoe factory. Shoes are almost always made in factories of this kind. Inside the factory are workers who know the special skills of making shoes. Big machines help with the many jobs that have to be done in making one shoe. The new shoes are packed in boxes. The boxes are loaded into trucks. Some of the trucks is of shoes to trains to be carried to stores far away. And some of the trucks drive into our community, to our stores. Many trucks bring things into our community every day. This truck is bringing new automobiles from an automobile factory. And this truck is bringing milk from a dairy farm to our stores. Freight trains, too, bring things from all over the country to the stores in our community. Now the truck from the shoe factory has arrived in our community, bringing more new shoes to the department store. The store has bought the shoes from the factory. Did you know that a department store has to buy everything first before it can sell things to people? Most stores have to buy what they sell. That's how these new shoes got here. That's why the shoe department had these shoes to sell to the Johnson family. Selling shoes seemed like so much fun to Bill that he thinks he'd like to try it himself. The shoe clerk is coming back. And he has three balloons, one for each of the children. The Johnsons have finished their shopping in the department store but there are more things they want to buy. The children are going by themselves to do some shopping for the family. Can you guess where they are going? The bakery. 
let's look inside before the children get here. There are always good things to see and smell in a bakery. Now, where is the baker going? Here is where the baker makes the things that are sold in the bakery. Do you know what this is? It's flour. The baker has to buy the flour he uses. It is brought to him in a truck that comes from a flour mill. He has to buy many other things, too. A truck from a dairy brings him eggs and milk and butter. This is the big oven. Here is where he bakes cakes and cookies, pies and bread, all sorts of good things to eat. These hot pie crusts are going to be filled with cherries. The baker buys cherries, but he doesn't sell cherries in the bakery. He sells cherry pies. The baker buys many things that he will work with in making what he sells in the bakery. Do you think the Johnson family will want a cherry pie? Here's Bill taking a number tag that tells when it's his turn to be waited on. It's his turn now. What does he want to buy? A loaf of bread. Anything else? Yes, a cherry pie. And that's all, thank you. Bill and Janie and Susie like to shop in the bakery. It smells so good. But they don't come here very often because Mother bakes many things at home. Bill wants to be sure he has the right change. Shopping is a responsibility. It's also fun. Now they will go to meet mother and father at a different store. What kind of store is this? A hardware store. Inside, father is buying a new hammer. Bill and Janie and Susie are interested in the hammer because Father has promised to help them build something this very afternoon. And they'll need something else to build it, something they will use with the hammer. Can you guess what Father is buying now? Nails. What will they build with the hammer and the nails? We'll have to wait and see. Now, how much money has Father spent in the hardware store? We can tell by watching the cash register. 99 cents, 16 cents, a dollar and 15 cents in all for the hammer and nails. Now the Johnsons will be going home. There are many other stores they could shop in but they've bought all the things they need today. The best store in the world. Owners Bill, Janie, Susie. A play store in their basement at home. That's what father and the children have built with the new hammer and nails. But what kind of store should it be? Bill and Janie and Susie can think of many kinds of stores that sell many different kinds of things. Which store should this one be? What kind of store would be the most fun? What do you think? 